tour bus. We are on the hit and run tour right now. Yesterday marked halfway through the tour. Um, it's been an amazing tour. Lots of sold out shows. The fans are crazy. You know, waiting out. Nine o'clock in the morning waiting for the show to start. Um, it's insane. But the tour has been crazy. This is our tour bus. Uh, we tour with 11 guys, including our bus driver, Top Gun. Um, he's not here right now, but he's the Top Gunner, which is what he likes to call himself. He never has to sleep. He never gets tired. I don't really even think that's illegal. I don't even think that's legal, but it's all good because he gets us where we have to go and there's no bumps. And, um, you know, it's all good. We're here. Um, but yeah, this is our tour bus. It actually, we've had a lot of uh, bus problems in the last month. Um, we've actually had two buses. This is our second bus in um, one month. Uh, the first one we had for about a week, and then we were on the side of the highway driving to the next show, and it broke down, and um, we weren't able to fix it. So that night, after like eight hours of trying to fix it, we got this bus. We transferred all of our stuff onto this bus. Um, so this is the first bus ever where I don't have my own room in the back. Uh, I have to sleep in one of the bunks just like everybody else. So I'm like, oh, whatever. I'll try bunk life. As ironic as it is, it I have way better night sleep um, in like a tiny little bunk than I ever did having my own room in the back. So this is a brand new bus to us. Um, this is, you know, our chill session. This, this is our chill area. Um, you know, this is where we just kick it pre-game for the show. Um, we watch TV, you know. This is when we have long 10 hour drives. We all kind of turn these lights off, you know. Keep the red ones on for the vibe. Um, but this is where, you know, we eat, we chill, we watch movies, we produce, we freestyle, we drink, we invite people, party, whatever it may be. This is the biggest area on the bus to just kind of kick it and uh, relax. Um, right here is always where we have our water bottles, which of course we don't have any right now uh, because I'm a little sick, so I've been drinking a lot. Um, but right now we got Fireball, Sprite, Red Bull, and tequila, none of which I drink. Um, we have a big box. We got a big bag of popcorn, Chicago popcorn, that uh, one of the fans brought me. It's a uh, butter mixed with caramel, and it's really good popcorn. We've been watching just kind of whatever's on TV, to be honest. We were gonna stop and get like a cable so we could hook our computer up to the TV and watch whatever's on the computer so that we kind of have a choice of what we watch. But uh, we don't have Wi-Fi or internet on the bus, so we don't really even have the power to watch anything on the computer. So that whole idea was shattered. Uh, so we kind of just, you know, scroll through here. This is just regular TV. Um, most of the time, something like Family Guy is on, um, South Park, ESPN. All I wa really watch is ESPN, but the guys like Family Guy, so we've been watching a lot of Family Guy. On long drives, we'll turn all the lights off and watch like classic movies, whatever's on. Um, we watched Titanic the other day. Just 11 guys watching Titanic <laughs> on the highway. This is a Vicks humidifier. Um, it's just for my, you know, nose and throat. You know, I've been getting sick like crazy on tour, I've just now recently started doing like vocal exercises and honey and tea and my vocal coach told me to get one of these so I put like eight bottles of water in here, I put a little drop of this lavender oil, sometimes it's eucalyptus oil and it just steams up the whole bus and makes it feel like a spa and um, so it's really nice. So I've just been kind of like hovering right here like all day, every day. Um, this is also where I steam all my shirts, I put water in here which is why you can see all the water bottles disappear really quick just because I fill all of this stuff with water. Um, so this is where I steam all my stuff. I usually hang it right here and steam it. Um, in terms of the food, I don't really eat too much on the bus. I normally wait until we stop and I run into a gas station. For us, we drive so much that like seeing the bus pull over and like opening the window and like seeing a gas station and knowing like that our bus driver is pulling into a gas station to get fuel, that's like, you know, that's like heaven for us because we can run inside the gas station and get like Subway or snacks or whatever. Um, we got the George Foreman. Our our tour manager Scott is like an amazing cook, so he will make like egg sandwiches and um, you know like croissants and all this crazy stuff. I've been trying to stay healthy. I'm not eating bread for like the last two months. Bread or pasta, um, I haven't really been eating, so I haven't really been eating any fried cooked food or anything like that or bread. So I haven't really been able to experience the Scott Neb meals. Um, and here we got another. I think this is. This again is for like breakfast sandwiches or like waffles. I don't even really know. Ask, ask Scott. Scott's, Scott's in charge of cooking for everybody. Um, we got the protein powder up here. It's very important because we work out every day. We try to get to a gym, mostly in LA Fitness because that's what I'm a member of. But not only to work out, but also because there's uh, showers there and we always have trouble finding showers. So LA Fitness is just a very reliable place for us to go work out, shower, play basketball, and just feel good about ourselves. And then we come back here and we make a protein shake. Um, 
These have been very popular on our tour. I never really eat these, but uh, you know, I do now. They're amazing. They taste like candy. This is very important because half the guys on this tour are sick. So we are urging everybody who's not sick to start taking these. We got some six-year-old, we got some cereal for six-year-olds, I guess. I've never had Fruity Pebbles, but apparently the guys like Fruity Pebbles. Um, as I said, I don't really eat too much on this bus. So this is actually the first time I'm opening this refrigerator. Um, a lot of times people will go out to like Whole Foods or a grocery store and they'll get like, you know, sushi or a sandwich and just kind of put it in the refrigerator for after the show. Um, but I, as I said, I don't really do that. I just wait until we kind of get somewhere and then I'll eat in the venue or I'll just walk to somewhere that I know, you know, like Panera, somewhere that I really love. But in here, um, we got some pasta, we got some ice cream, we got some veggie burgers, uh, hummus, I love hummus, butter, barbecue sauce, ketchup, mustard, the essentials. Um, this is our trash. Very convenient because it just goes like all the way down there. So you can just like throw all your shit down there and not really care about it. It never overflows because it just like goes under the bus. Um, here we got another fridge. Oh, I guess these are more of the drinks. We got some Powerade, water. Uh, this is my, actually my favorite protein bar. There's still one left. That's a bonus. I didn't know there was one left. Um, and we got eggs, milk, and orange juice. And that's pretty much it. And then in here we got all the essentials for like, here we got more. More workout essentials, this is what I take every day before I work out. It's called a pre-workout C4. You take one scoop of this and you start going crazy. Um, you start to like hear your hair growing. It's You'll literally like be amped up. Um, and then this is also called creatine. I'm also taking this after I work out. I'm big into fitness. I'm big into feeling good about my health and my brain and just um, feeling good. So I work out every day and I've kind of transformed a lot of the guys on this bus into gym heads as well so they'll come with me and I'll kind of train them they'll train me and we'll just go back and forth and it's really cool to have people who also you know push each other in the gym so we go to the gym every day um halls I've been eating these oh shit it's not the cleanest bus um I've been eating these every day halls great for your throat um we got honey we got throat coat tea this is all super important for me um I'll put a, a glass of water in the microwave I'll heat it up for two minutes and then I'll put, you know, honey and tea in there and I'll have that before the show. Sometimes I'll throw some Jameson in it. My bus driver in Europe taught me how to do that. It's called a hottie toddy. Jameson, honey, and tea. And supposedly a little bit of Jameson is actually good for you. So, um, good for your throat at least. Up here we got peanut butter and jelly. Haven't touched it. Popcorn. Haven't touched it. Um, we got plates, bread, more airborne. As I said, not too many people really eat on the bus. It's all about kind of walking around the city and exploring the city and finding places, you know, that we've never really eaten or just places that where we're in a rush and we know we love like Panera or Chipotle. And um, so that's where we'll go. Um, but yeah, uh, obviously we got a finished bottle of Jameson because that's all we drink on the store. Uh, that's, that's my go-to drink, Jameson and Sprite. So whenever I have like friends or family over, we're in a city and I have, I know people there, they'll come on the bus and I just you know, feel obligated to pour myself and them a drink just to kind of be a good host. So we'll turn on music, we got the red solo cups, and um, we'll get some drinks going. So Jameson is my go-to for sure. This chair, um, this is actually a very uncomfortable spot, probably the most uncomfortable spot in the bus just because it's very low. So it's like, it's kind of awkward, but sometimes I'll put my keyboard here and I'll put my computer right next to me and I'll just kind of produce or I'll practice the piano because um, this tour is a lot different than all the other ones. I've been really kind of honing in on all my music skills and trying to, uh, you know, just try different things um, at the live shows and play piano and saxophone and um, guitar. So this is kind of where I would lay out my MIDI controller and just practice, but no one really sits here besides that. Maybe to do homework. We have some kids, we have some people on this tour who do homework still or in like college um, online. And then, you know, we have editors, music video editors and photographers who will maybe sit there and edit some pictures and videos. So that's kind of like the workstation while everybody else here is, you know, chilling. Um, we have this underneath more workout stuff. We got two 35 pound dumbbells and an ab wheel. So we will put um, a pillow right down here. Even when people are flooded on these couches watching movies, we'll get down here, we'll do the ab wheel. We usually do 100 a day. And then, um, you know, we'll take the 35 pound dumbbells and we'll do bicep curls or, you know, shoulder press. I don't really know. Usually it's just at the gym, but that's maybe like the pre-show pump that just we don't feel 
you know, we all feel pumped up or something, and so we just want to get a few in. So uh, that's why we keep those there. This is called Bunk Alley. The most important part of the bus to keep clean because this is where we all live. Um, sometimes people leave their shoes out there and their clothes and, you know, it just gets really crazy in there. So we have made a rule to just keep this as clean as possible because you can imagine at night when we're all, you know, getting ready to go to sleep and we're all, you know, in our pajamas and our underwear and there's 11 guys like close by, like getting knocked over and it's, it's just, it's crazy. Um, and it's, it, it really gets like super claustrophobic. So as I said, this is my first tour ever sleeping in one of these bunks. This is mine right here. I could probably never sleep on a top bunk because I'd probably fall out during the drive and I feel like I'd be way too claustrophobic in the bottom one. So I chose this middle one. Um, you would think that it's a very, you know, claustrophobic, crazy, like, night's sleep, but it's actually super, super comfortable. Um, the first night it kind of took a little bit of adjusting just because I'm in a very small area. You can't even, like, sit up or you'll hit your head. But there's, there's like, air vents back there right on your feet, so it stays cold and chilly the whole night. Um, obviously a curtain, so I can have darkness and nobody see me. Um, we have outlets, a very comfortable comforter, a very comfortable pillow, and enough space for my body. So, I mean, can't really ask for anything more. It's a really nice night's sleep, and the bus kind of rocks you while you're driving. So, I don't know, it's just, it's very nice. And uh, back when I was in the other tour bus on previous tours for the last four years, I would be, back there would be my whole bedroom. Now it's kind of just like a lounge. But back there, that's like where, like right on top of like the engine. So like you hear all the noise, you feel every bump. And so that's, I guess, why I didn't really get too great of night sleeps when I was back there. But now it's, you know, just kind of chilly and uh, cold and quiet and it's, it's just really nice. This is uh, the only bathroom on the bus. It's actually pretty big. Um, right now the toilet's broken, so you gotta like pee in this weird way where you hit the flusher and open the toilet while you're peeing and step on the flusher while you're peeing. It's crazy. So many problems with the bus, but you gotta deal with it tour life. Um, number one rule, obviously, no number twos on the bus. If you have to poop, tell the bus driver and we pull over. Which is why we pull over all the time, because there's 11 guys on here. Um, I believe there are two what we call junk bunks. This is one of them. Um, it's just where everyone kind of stores all their stuff. I don't have a, I don't put any of my stuff in the junk bunk uh, because I have this little closet back here, which is dirty right now. But um, you know, it's where I hang all my clothes. My shoes are all down there. This is right here, a big garbage bag full of all my laundry. So when I'm done after a show, I'll take off my dirty clothes, throw it in this bag, and you know. Maybe once every two weeks I get to do laundry, which gets crazy, but, you know, this is where I come to pick out which shoes I want to wear, um, which jackets, t-shirts, sometimes they fall down there, and I'm too lazy to pick it up, so it gets crazy. Um, I don't really know who's back here right now. It's probably somebody working, if I had to guess. Yep, two people working. So this is uh, kind of where we come to, you know, if we got to get work done. Um, Sterling over here does all my videos and my vlogs. What's going on? What's up? And so uh, he'll come back here get some quiet and just put his headphones on and kind of, you know, just edit. And um, we have like these this vlog series that we do. It's about eight to 10 minutes for every episode. So he's the one that shoots them all. He comes back here and edits them all. And then when he's done, he kind of comes out and he's like, who wants to see the next vlog? So it's pretty cool. Um, he's got a drone right here to get really cool, like uh, just shots of whatever city we're in. Um, this is also where I store a lot of my clothes. So um, up here are like my sweatpants. Everything falls when you open it. Sweatpants and jeans right here. Uh, a little bit more jeans and basketball shorts right here. And then... Ugh. This is like one of the most annoying things of the bus. These little things are like on every cabinet, the trash. It's like you gotta push it in perfectly to lock it and it just never works, as you can see. It gets really frustrating. Um, we got a TV here, we got a TV here. N neither of them are really ever turned on, to be honest. When we're watching TV, we're usually out there. Um, a lot of music stuff goes back there when we're, you know, when we're riding. And a lot of a lot of musicians are on this bus. Um, pretty much half the half the bus is filled with musicians. So we'll put, you know, guitars or keyboards back there, headphones, because this is off, also often used as like a, a room to produce and just kind of get some peace and quiet and put some headphones on and play the keys or just produce a beat or something like that. Um, other than that, we have this crazy toy that uh, our photographer brought on tour, which I don't even know what it's called, but it's become like the hottest object of the tour. Everybody who comes on this tour bus wants to try it. 
I've gotten pretty good at it, as you can tell. But there's like different things that you can do with it. I don't really know. Some Japanese toy, I think. Um, and then we have another humidifier back there just because we are all about keeping the air nice and healthy. Um, right here, we have kind of all the information um, for the day. So the Chicago bus call today is 11 p.m. That means the bus is leaving at 11 p.m. to go to the next city. We have the schedule, when we're arriving, when we're supposed to load in, sound check, meet and greet, show time, with all the addresses, which is really helpful. So that way we don't have to keep asking Scott, who's the tour manager, um, you know, all these questions. It's just right here. And then we have these same pieces of paper in the front lounge as well. So that's pretty much it. And then we have these cool red lights in this room too, just to create a little vibe. Sometimes we'll have people back here just hanging, partying, whatever. So I just came out with a brand new album. It's called Silver Lining. I wrote and produced every song. Um, I'm independent now, so I'm doing whatever I want to do. I learned how to produce my own beats. Um, I recorded all the songs in my apartment in LA, five, five feet away from my bed, uploaded to iTunes right next to my bed. Um, and so, you know, I'm just doing it all myself right now. This whole tour, I'm funded by myself. I'm, all the music I'm doing by myself. So um, to all the fans, thank you guys so much for riding with me and listening to all the music. I'm gonna go home after this tour and make a lot more music and then tour again and then music and the tour and keep doing it over and over again because that's the only thing I love to do. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm gonna go get ready for the show tonight in Chicago. Thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed the bus.